If you love Chinese food as much as I do, you are gonna get hooked on today's preparation. We're doing Cantonese style steamed fish. Mm, delicious. And you are gonna love it. Let's cook. China has many different subcultures that include their own customs and even their own dialect. Therefore, Chinese cooking is very diverse. But most people agree that there are eight major culinary traditions, of which Guangdong, formerly Canton, is one of them. Canton, or Guangdong as it's known today, is on the southeast region of China. Cantonese cuisine was China's first culinary export due to the waves of immigrants coming to the U.S. and many other parts of the world. Dim sum and many other Western favorites are perfect examples of Cantonese cuisine. Cantonese cuisine is very subtle in its flavors, and today's dish is an example of that. This recipe usually calls for a whole fish, but today we're using fillets because they're just easier to handle. If you're adventurous or you're like my friend Joe that likes to fish, go get a whole one and just follow the same directions. Any white fish like cod, grouper, halibut will do. Today we're using grouper and we're accompanying it with white rice. Traditionally, Chinese white rice doesn't have any salt. Today we're using salt because we like it. First, we're gonna get organized. The French call this mise en place, and all mise en place is, is having the ingredients and the tools that you need right in front of you. Cooking is always about ingredients, time, and temperature. Therefore, it is very important, especially in a recipe like this one that has so very few ingredients, to get the best ingredients you can find. And that includes very fresh fish. So now we're gonna prep all the ingredients and put them in what we call the conga line, which is nothing but the order in which you're gonna use them in the recipe. Remember, mise en place is less stress. Let's prep. And now it's time for shout outs. These are the people that are cooking our food, taking pictures and letting us know about it. Why don't you try it? Little sis Kiriana from Spain did it again. She did the fruity di mare. And Noel Rodriguez from Orlando did the salmon. They both look delicious. We get so excited when we see you cooking. Keep them coming. So hey guys, Gus asked me today to teach you how to make my white rice recipe and I'll show you how to make it step by step. So the first thing we do, uh, we measure the rice. Here I have one and a half cups of white rice. You know, it doesn't matter the brand to me as long as it is long grained rice. And I wash it until I see the water kind of clear because what you want is to remove the starch. You don't want that, you know, your rice to, to taste like starchy rice, see? Can you feel that white water? Then I'll probably do another little rinse. I put my hand in there. You wanna make sure that you move it around. 
really drain it. I take all the water out. And the recipe calls for one and a half cups of white rice and two cups of water. And then we're gonna use one teaspoon, one full teaspoon of salt. Um, in this case, we're using kosher salt. So adjust it, you know, to your taste. So after that, after my salt is right, you have to taste it. So it should taste a little bit like the sea, but not terribly salty where you can't stand it. If it happens, just take out some of the water, replace it with water without salt, and that's it. So, okay, so after the salt is dissolved and you like the taste of it, I add a little bit of, just a little bit, like that. I use canola or vegetable oil because it doesn't have flavor. If you want, you can do it with avocado oil. Don't add olive oil because it totally changes the flavor of your rice. Okay, so now we're ready. We're gonna cook our rice. I'm gonna turn it on. This is a new little device Gus purchased. And it makes a little bit of noise, but you can totally hear me. I usually just put it on high, and I am gonna teach you every step of the way how it should look, when you should cover it, and for how long. We're gonna wait until it starts boiling and all the water starts disappearing. Okay, we're gonna cover it once we see in the surface no water. All we see is the rice with a little holes, you know, like craters in the moon. I'm gonna lower this, the temperature, to a low setting, the lowest on your stove. We cover it for 15 minutes. I put the timer because that's when you know when the rice is cooked perfectly. Remember what Gus says, cooking is about ingredients, time, and temperature. Let's wait until it boils. So now it's boiling, come and see. You see how you want that speed that's perfectly fine? You see how the water is kind of disappearing? I'm gonna do this. I like scraping it in the bottom because I don't want my rice to stick. And I scrape the bottom pretty much. Do you see how it's forming little craters? That's what we want. We just don't want to see any water at all. So we're ready. Take a last look. That's how I like it. Cover. Lower temperature to low. Put my timer, 15 minutes, and that's it. Okay, ready. So the timer is done. I'm gonna turn this off. Uncover the rice. See how beautiful it looks. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Just like a finishing touch. And I do this all around the rice. And the purpose is to make the rice fluffy. If you take a spoon, then you kind of like squish it, right? So now we have our rice, it's ready. You can cover it until everything else is ready. And voila, you have Joanna's recipe for white rice. Now it's time to steam the fish. This is so simple, you're gonna be blown away. The first thing we need to do is just mix our soy sauce, salt and sugar, and the water. Make sure to dissolve the salt and the sugar. Set this aside. All we need to do now is actually steam the fish. I'm sure you don't have an authentic Chinese steam. So I'm gonna give you an option on what to do at home. You get a regular pot with a lid. You're gonna use something like this. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna put that inside. Put about one inch of water the same way. And you take the whole plate of fish and just put it on top of that rack. You cover it and make it happen, right? Now, the only trick here is that you have to wait until the water is actually boiling. You wanna make sure you protect your hands, or maybe you can use a couple of tongs or clamps or something to do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit, just a touch of salt, because we're gonna add soy sauce later, okay? Just a little bit. We're gonna place our fish on this rack here. Cover that, I'm gonna add about one inch of water. Okay, the water, as you can see, is boiling now. So I'm just gonna put my steamer right on top. And set my timer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna get rid of the noise. Man, this is so practical for us and I think I can teach you better this way. It's a little noisy, but we'll see how we can manage, okay? This is done. Get this out of that water. I'm getting rid of this water. I'm gonna dry this off. Put it back on the burner. 
You're gonna stir it again. Add the oil. Two tablespoons of oil. When you hear that, that was a little bit of water there. I didn't dry it too much or enough. Ginger goes in for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now we're gonna add the green onions or the scallions. We're adding two thirds of the green onion. One third of it, we're gonna use right over the fish without cooking. So this needs to sizzle a little bit. And now, once this is sizzling like this, about a minute, we add the soy sauce with the water. Cook for 30 seconds. Wow, it's a lot of smoke. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna set it aside. Open this up. Let me check the temperature of the fish. Inside is 140, 144. It's nice and good. Careful not to break it apart too much. Sprinkle some of this cilantro on top and some of the scallions. And then we're gonna add this hot liquid we just cooked and the ginger. Look at this. Finally, my favorite moment, taste test. Man, this looks amazing. My mouth is watering. Today, we are having Riesling, which is kind of a sweet wine. This one happens to be Chateau Saint-Michel from the Columbia Valley in Washington State. It's medium bodied and with a little bit of sweetness and I think it's gonna balance the soy sauce. Uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. So let's try it. We have chopsticks. Let's try it. You know what? Let me try the fork first. I don't know if you can see it is so juicy. Mmm. Oh my God, this is so good. Like I said before, Cantonese cuisine, the taste is so delicate and so balanced. You know, it's got a little bit of sugar, it's a little bit of salt, perfume from the ginger. Mmm. Oh wow. Let me get a little bit of this rice. Oh man. Mmm. It's perfect. Joanna's rice is perfect with anything, but with this, it's just something else. So, Joanna, you should you should come and try it right away. This is just so good. Mmm. Yes, mm. it looks amazing. It is so subtle. Mm. So this is. It was a fail with the chopsticks. Mmm. Well, I didn't even try. This is a this is a refined dish. And you can add some of that right on top. Like and this is a way to do it right here. Yeah. All right, perfect. Ooh, I didn't try the wine. Mmm, wonderful. A little bit of sweetness and acidity. And it's nice and bright. It's just great. Mm. What are you thinking? So delicious. Is it worth a yummy dance? Yummy dance. <laughs> I think so. Totally worth mm. a yummy dance. Let me put this one here. You could, you could be Chinese. I could be Chinese. I mm -hmm. could, I literally, I could be Chinese. Mm -hmm. Like, I love Chinese food so much. Oh, wow. Guys, this is so... I feel so like I'm at a Chinese restaurant. Oh, my God. And this is so simple to make. I just wanted to show you that little, I don't know, what's that showing off? I don't think so. I have the little, you know, gadgets and stuff. I love that kind of stuff, but you don't need that. You can, the first time I did this dish, I did it in a colander. I just put a col in the, the fish in a colander and just set it in there and it worked perfectly. The wine is magnificent with it. It's fantastic for this, right? Wow, this is. is amazing, wow. Mm. 
And isn't it? Oh, wild dish. So, like delicate, right? That, that's, that's, that's the word. That's the word. It's, man. I'm gonna try the chopsticks. Mm, there you go. Just in case. Mmm. 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 Mm. Ginger. Oh my god. Ginger just. This works. is so good. I love ginger. Ginger and scallions. Mmm. That could be. You know, we have a new puppy. Her name is Ginger. Mm. So we literally love ginger. Can you tell we're hungry? I know my daughter Isabella would be dying right now and gosh. Guys, probably. Oh. your dad did a good job, I have to say. Mm. Oh, Golan Lee, this one's for you. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, man. When you visit us, we'll make this for you. We'll he'll make, make He'll make this for you. Um, oh my goodness. I'll make the rice. You're gonna love it, Glenn. Mm -hmm. And see you, you too. The rice was 15 minutes. And this is 10, so while the rice is cooking, you can do this. It's so simple and so fast if you like Chinese food. This is so delicate, it's so refined, it's so delicious and so simple to make and so healthy. This is actually healthy. You see, I didn't use a bunch of like normally, I used a lot of oil, a lot of butter, all of that. And another thing is that it didn't have onions or garlic. This one is for Dan. Yes. Patty, tell Dan that this is his dish, <laughs> okay? For I sure. thought and thought and thought, I said, oh my God, Cantonese. Steamed fish, that's Perfect. the one. I love it. You know what? Cheers. Cheers. Fantastic. Another one for the books. All right, four things. Make sure you subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, and obviously, cook it. Cook it. You need to promise me you're gonna cook it. You need to try it. I. Uh, you are gonna love it. Your friends are gonna love it. Your family's gonna love it. It's just... I don't think it gets easier than this. It doesn't get easier than this. It doesn't get tastier than this either. Right? Authentic Chinese food at home. Wow. You know what? Next week, we're going back to Mexico. Baja California. Fish tacos. Yay! Yeah! Ooh! I love fish tacos. Delicious. Come back and see us.